Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanta.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed benchmarking test on our Asus ZenPad 8.0 tablet. We will be doing today 5 benchmarking tests actually and out of these 5 we have already performed few of them just to save you time because they are pretty much time consuming and to save you time we have already performed the test and we will just have a look on their score and the rest of the test we will do here right in front of you. So the benchmarking applications which we got today here are entry benchmarking basemark os2 basemark x and uh, geekbench 3 and quadrant standard so out of these five we have already performed the entry benchmarking basemark os2 and basemark x which is a gaming benchmarking uh, test so let's have a look on our entry benchmarking score here So here is the score of our device you can see that's 26,641 and it's below Vivo X5 Pro and Lenovo K3 Note and you can see that the difference is pretty huge and in this list of smartphones our device is at the bottom but this is just a score and we will see that how good this device is going to be in real life scenario in our detailed review later by playing few of the most high-end games here you can see the score of uh, our device in each of these individual tests for 3d ux cpu and ram here but our main concern should be the overall score and that's 26641 now our another test is base mark os2 let's have a look on the results so the result is once again overall 554 for system the performance is quite good 1037 for memory 492 for the graphics it's not good because we are having uh, an old GPU in this that's Adreno 306 and because of that you can see the least score achieved is in graphics and for web browsing it's 588 and overall it's 554. You can compare the result by going to Basemark OS 2's official site and you can compare the result of our device with the rest of the devices available in the market and now it's time for the Basemark X which is a gaming Basemark test. We have already performed this test as well. So here is the score and that's 3882 and considering the old hardware of this device it's uh, quite average it's not so good it's not so bad as well but we will do a detailed gaming performance test of our device the Asus ZenPad 8.0 to see that how good this device is going to perform when we are playing few of the high-end games instead of considering just the benchmarking score and uh, the next two tests which we got here are Quadrant Standard and the Geekbench 3. And we will do these two tests right here in front of you. So let's start with the Geekbench 3. Here we, you can see few of the hardware specs of this device that it is having Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.21 GHz quad core processor 2gb of ram android 5.0 lollipop os so let's do the test here and see what we are going to get
the test is finished now and here is the score for single core the score is 474 and for multi core it is 1404 if you go to these tabs called single core and multi core we can compare the score of our device with the rest of the devices our device achieved 474 if you go down this chart you can see Sony Xperia Z it achieved 487 and Samsung Galaxy S3 achieved 426 and our device it's 474 so if you have used Sony Xperia tablet Z LG Nexus 4 or Sony Xperia Z smartphone so you will get the better idea that how good our device will be performing its performance will be pretty much similar to all of these three devices because their score is pretty much same to them and if you go to the multi-core tab our device is scored 1404 and here you can see once again that LG Nexus 4 achieved 1565 Samsung Nexus 10 tablet scored 1510 and Sony Xperia Z scored 1366 so once again the score is coming between LG Nexus 4 and Sony Xperia Z just like the single core performance so if you have used Nexus 4 or Sony Xperia Z so the performance will be pretty much similar to those smartphone of our Asus ZenPad 8.0 tablet and the last test for today is going to be quadrant standard and we will do this test here right in front of you so let's start the test So the test is finished and the score is 13,395 and uh, here is the score of few of the older devices HTC One X, Asus Transformer Prime, Motorola Atrix, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 so if you have used any of these devices you will be getting the idea that our devices perform uh, going to perform much better than them because in this chart our device is here it's 13,395 but HTC One X is around 4,500 Asus Transformer Prime is at 4,000 exactly and Samsung Galaxy Tab is even below 3,000 so if you have used any of these devices you should be getting the idea that our device is going to perform much better than that Asus ZenPad 8.0 tablet so this is all about the benchmarking of this device we will be doing a detailed review and also some gaming performance test to see how good this device is going to perform in few of our later videos so do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this have a nice day